I did two photo shoots recently with my friend Carolyn and they went awesome. Let me tell you about them. One shoot, I just solely used the 85. The other shoot, I mainly used the 50 mil 1.8 as well as the 85 a little bit later on. Um, those are like my two favorite portrait lens that I have. Dimples is crying. Nibbles. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do YouTubes. Look at her. I'm trying to do YouTube, Nibbles. She wants to go outside. All right. All right, Nibbles, you want to go outside? She said yes. Let's go outside, Nibbles. Come on, little Nibbles. she's out so as i was saying you know did those photo, two photo shoots went excellent got some great photos uh really love how they turned out one shoot i used the 50 mil only i actually used the 85 a little bit on that shoot and the other shoot i used the 85 um just because i want to see the difference between those two lenses because those are my two favorite ones um and i was just kind of interested to see like what kind of portraits i can do with both of them 50 mil i've had for the longest amount of time as you saw like in my other video that's that's like my my like like my, my nifty 50. I mean, I, there's a reason why they call it nifty 50. I, for everything I do, I kind of start with that just because it just the compression it gives and the depth of field that you can get if you get it at close up and have the background further away, it's just perfect. The one thing I've kind of been struggling with though is trying to get behind the scenes footage from all those, from the two shoots. Today, I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes for those two shoots, as well as like some of the final images but really just want to show you guys kind of like what I could have done better during the shoot. Um, positions that really didn't work out that I thought was going to be cool for some of the DGI action too on one of the shoots. Um, yeah, filming is hard. What's up guys? We are out here testing the build trucks, 85 1.8. Uh, I got Carolyn. 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 Back. back. Hey, <laughs> hey. So we're just out here doing some photos for her, just street photography style. And it's raining, so we're kind of like in the middle of trying not to get wet and still get some awesome photos. Pretty we got some bangers already. Um, just stay tuned, we're gonna do some more vlogging. All right, yeah. So as soon as we got out of the car, I was like, yo, let's do some photos up here because I've never really shot in a, a parking garage before. Um, it, I didn't have flash. I like, I would have liked to have flash uh, for that part, but I was going natural lighting for the, all of this. But these ones that I've taken here, I uh, really liked how they all turned out. I also got to get a little bit of B-roll in the staircase, but since I was solo shooting with the 85 mil, it was, not a lot of room for me to do anything in there. So we just kind of moved on. Uh, outside, we got some awesome shots by the staircase that had a nice little overpass in the background that I kind of used to help, um, you know, so more define her character. So this next sequence here, we just were under some arches. Um, so we next had the next side light coming in and it actually made for some beautiful images. I'm gonna put up on the screen here. started pouring again so we actually just went to this little uh bagel shop and chilled for a second that was close and went back to the garage because that was pretty much our time we actually spent a lot of less time shooting than we are i would have liked it was a lot of it was pretty rainy it was on and off rain so you know you kind of just work with what you got we kind of you know they didn't able they weren't able to go um you know out in the middle of the street or to get some uh some more street stuff like she wanted but we still did get some good stuff Really the biggest thing from the footage that looking back at it and putting it into a timeline is I, I actually should have shot more of it, even if it was lower quality. That's the one thing I, I'm trying to get used to is just shooting all the time and getting as much as possible because it really just helps to tell the story um, coming on later to look at um, everything in the timeline to be able to put into a vlog. Uh, really just the amount of stuff that you have just helps. Like even if it's just a little something here, a little something there, um, all putting it together really does make a difference. 
Uh, this last part really is just me messing up completely. Like, I think I deleted the audio already, so you can't hear it at all because I delete, I recorded the audio directly to the DJI's, um, the mic prompts that I'm, I'm having that she has on. Yeah, I'm just not in frame. The autofocus wasn't really good. I should have done the manual focus if I wanted to do it backlit like this. Um, yes, yeah, so if somebody was behind the camera watching it the entire time, it would have been it would have been better. But this was like I just got done shooting, so my camera was rigged out for photo, and I didn't have my monitor on to view my camera. One thing, one of the biggest downsides about the Z6 is not having a flippy a flippy screen, so that I can actually view what the hell is going on when I'm in front of the lens.